What is happening, Magnus? Thanks. <laughs> I was laying in the bed looking at notifications. I actually got a notification for this. I can't believe it. Are you ready? <clears throat> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Mr. President? Wilson. Thanks for coming in. I thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to lose the mustache or lose the election. <laughs> you and I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Kind of a cool shot. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's the Bucky jump. Sir, your inner circle's been compromised. Either you can't see that, but you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Nice. <laughs> Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. Oh. <laughs> you may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Oh. Got some shoes to fill. <laughs> yeah, I am about to say I know right. the. I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all the reshoots better not be for nothing, Disney. Don't fuck this up. That trailer was cut real badass. Sam is looking badass in this. Don't mess it up. I swear to God. I swear to God, don't mess this up. I was in the theater like a lot of fans were in the theater at the end of Endgame. We thought that Bucky was going to be next. The way everything went, you it's just natural. You're like, yeah, Bucky's going to get the shield next. It's like, whoa, he gave it to Sam. Oh, oh, well, yeah, he was also Captain America too in the comics. All right. Then we found out your agenda later and what you were doing, how you were woken everything up. And it wasn't just a curveball, you know, because we all love Sam. None of us have a problem with Sam. Falcon is badass. Then it's like, oh, that's why you picked him? You didn't pick him just as a kind of a swerve. Like, yeah, they were both cap, but we picked him instead. You know what I mean? Let's see where we go with this direction. Had no problem with it. But it's all the agenda propaganda garbage, woke of fire and everything, pissing all the fans off. That's the reason why you did it. Just because of his skin color? Uh-uh. Don't pick him just because of his skin color. Do it because it's story-wise the right thing to do. So now we have a black Captain America. I'm hyped for that. I'm happy for that after seeing this trailer. But don't F it up. It better not be a bunch of propaganda in here irritating the fans again. Because you're going to have another dud on your hands. No matter how good the trailer is, you're going to have another dud. Because we're going to go see the movie. And the whole world is going to get the world word out that this is just another The Marvels. Some more garbage propaganda, some more trash that we don't want want to be preached to. All right, that's right. I'm amped right now because I'm a passionate fan, and we have Deadpool and Wolverine about to come out. All the trailers look great. The reviews people are reviewing in that first thirty or thirty five minutes, whatever people are saying, it's great. Marvel is back. I swear to God, this trailer looks like Marvel is back. And it looks like you're not pushing propaganda in this. It, I swear to God, you guys better be back or I'm going to flip the hell out. 10 million subscribers. 
Woo!